Greetings Earthlings, welcome to Planet Nailing here on YouTube. So I wanted to talk about Polly Cooper. Um, she's an interesting character of late. Um, we all know basically she joined a cult. I mean, I'm calling it a cult. It's basically a cult. It sounds like a cult. I mean, her kids' names were basically, you know, I don't really know what cult names are, are but I'm guessing they're that because I don't think she would have came up on came up with that on her own, which she didn't, but it's like, I, it, it's just weird names, but so we basically know she's in a cult, you know, she's, and what got me thinking is someone wanted me to talk about Polly and how she was talking about this guy who could help Alice, which I didn't look too much into it. I mean, honestly, the only thing that I took away from it is how creepy she was. Like, I don't know, she was just so creepy and how, like, quick she is to forgive her dad. And it's like, you do realize he threatened to kill you and your unborn babies. Like, even if she doesn't realize this, it's like, he still murdered people. Like, she just, honestly, it, it didn't seem to affect her at all. Like, she's completely, like, different than the Polly we met in season one, when Betty went to, like, rescue her or see her, you know, it's like, I mean, I understand the character changing, but since Polly has left and joined this cult, I'm calling it a cult, or you can call it the farm, um, she's come back in the weirdest fucking way. I feel like her body has been taken over by, like, some fucking alien. Basically, like, she's brainwashed in a way. Like, I don't see Polly in her eyes. I don't see, like, I don't know. I just don't see the Polly I seen in season one anymore. And it's not that she changed. It's so much more than that. And I mean, yeah, the way she said that was so creepy and she's like, has no really emotions. And yeah, I just found it odd how quick she was to want to forgive her dad and like go visit him. Like, oh, how are we ever going to forgive him if we don't visit him? And it's like, I mean, even though she probably doesn't know about him, well, actually, she ran away because she was scared the Black Hood was going to harm her and her babies, and even if she didn't know that was for sure or not, it's still the fact that she was scared, and yet, that's nothing anymore, like, that's just old news, like, I understand, like, you're in this farm place, you're with the farm, you know, all that stupid shit that you've been spewing, a cult, um, but it's like, I, I don't understand how, I, I mean, I get like, oh, we, for, you got to forgive and stuff. It's not good to hold grudges. But it's like, do you not realize what he's done? I mean, I understand it really didn't affect you much because you were gone. But, I mean, this is the dad you grew up with. I mean, this is the dad you thought you knew. And, like, she just acts so detached from it. Like, it just doesn't, like, the fact that he's the Black Hood doesn't matter. It's just like forgiving him is what matters. And it's like, I don't know. I just feel like, so when someone asked me about that scene, like, I don't really, of course, when I think of the guy, I'm thinking of the cult leader, let's be totally honest, the charismatic guy who's gotten Polly under his spell and everybody else, I'm sure they're at the farm. I'm guessing that's the guy she's talking about. But I mean, I just didn't think too much of it because it's like, I know she's in a cult and she's just been giving creepy ass fucking vibes. Like, even last time we seen her when Chick was there, she wasn't that bad. But then now it's like weird. She's found out that Hal is the Black Hood and like, I don't know, this time around she's way different than even the last time she came with the babies when Chick was there, you know. She was at least her normal poly self, you know, normal semi-self. But this time, it's like a complete 180. I don't know. I just didn't see any actual poly within her eyes. I don't know. I just don't see anything in there. I feel like she's detached herself from her body or she's been brainwashed so much. Because let's be honest, she most likely to a guarantee, is in a cult. I mean, she's on the farm. That is a cult. Come on, the way she's been talking, it sounds like a cult. It. I mean, look at how she's changed so much. I mean, just look at how she changed from when she was there with Chick to when she just came back after Hal was found out to be the Black Hood. I mean, is there not a huge difference there? Do you, Like, her facial expressions, just like, I don't know, it's very odd, so I kind of wanted to bring her up because it made me start thinking... 
what if Betty's not the one who's going to turn out like Hal, like Hal thinks Betty is? Because yes, Betty has this darkness, but who's to say Polly doesn't have the same darkness in her, but she's better at hiding it? I'm not saying she's going to go around killing people, but I think it's interesting to consider that maybe Hal is so focused on Betty being the one who's like him that he's not seeing that Polly is in fact the one who's like him. I'm just saying, it's not a stretch, and also she's kind of become like a robot in a way and I just I don't know I get very odd feelings from her and anytime she talks about the farm I just get creepy vibes and you know the guy I just was like thinking oh cult leader you know but it's like I it got me thinking I was think I was just like that's so interesting like what if this whole time we know Betty has this darkness but what if this whole time it's not Betty's darkness we have to worry about it's Polly's darkness like you know like because like I said the Black Hood didn't seem to really impact her like it didn't seem like it was really a surprise or a big deal and she wasn't taking it like Betty or Alice was and I know everyone deals with their own way but you gotta admit she wasn't like it didn't seem like she was surprised at all that he was a Black Hood she just was like we gotta forgive him and that's to me a little odd I mean, I don't know whether it's because she's brainwashed on this farm cult or whether something else is going on there. Maybe she understands why he did what she, he did. Maybe she agrees with it. But then again, she was worried for her safety and her kids' safety. But Polly has changed since then, so I don't really know what state of mind she's in. But I just wanted to talk about her because I just thought, what if, yeah, we are focusing so much on Betty's darkness because I'm guessing Polly of course is going to be in more episodes in season three not a uh, series regular but I'm guessing she's going to be on epi in episodes here and there because I feel like there's more to her story or I feel like we're just going to see more of her at least and so so by probably mo most likely seeing more of her we're most likely going to maybe delve into her darkness. Because I feel like there's a darkness within Polly. I don't know if maybe it's just the cult. Or maybe it's the cult uh, like allowing her to express her darkness. I don't know. Or if she's just brainwashed. Maybe she doesn't have a darkness within her. But at the same time, I just... I don't know. Like, I feel like Polly's story is kind of like she's at this farm, which really is a cult. And she's kind of, like, brainwashed. But at the same time, I think it would be interesting if she had a darkness, too. And it was her, in fact, who was like Hal. And possibly, maybe down the road, took up his plan that he had for Riverdale that he never got to finish. Or kind of finished, because he ended it himself just not the way he wanted to, by taking Alice and Betty with him. But yeah, I just wanted to say that because I just thought about that, and it's like, yeah, I think maybe we won't focus so much on Betty's darkness. Maybe we'll get a little insight into Polly's darkness if she does have it, and maybe we'll be surprised. You know, we've been thinking, oh, Betty has this darkness. Is she going to be like Hal? No, she's not going to be like Hal. Maybe she is. She did keep the hood. She put it on, blah, this and that. She has these moments where she just has this kind of like evil stare looking into the fire, which is epically awesome. So I don't even care. But it's like she's in charge. She's taken charge. She's not going to let this darkness define her or take over her or make her into a monster like her dad. And the same can't be said for Polly. That's all I'm saying. Whether she, like, I don't know if she, like, is a great, like, she is okay with what Hal did and agrees with what he did, or she's just wanting to forgive him because of the farm or she's brainwashed, but yeah, I just wanted to bring her up and kind of talk about her. So that's my thoughts on Polly Cooper, who, I don't know, eh, I'm 50-50, I'm like 70-30, 60-40 on her, like, you know, I don't know, she has, I don't know, she's just very odd as of late. She's very odd since season two started and she's joined this farm I don't know. Plus, she's kind of was a bitch even before she left for the farm, you know? She was like a bitch to Betty, and she was just gonna leave without, like, she left without even showing, uh, letting Alice and them say goodbye to the babies, and it's just like, that's kind of fucking messed up, you know? Like, but okay. Oh, well, no, sorry. She didn't leave when she had the babies. She left before she had the babies, giving Alice and them never 
no chance to actually see the babies. But, uh, yeah, so that was pretty messed up. So, yeah, she was a bitch, so I kind of really don't like her, but she's definitely getting interesting. And, yeah, something's up, maybe not, but maybe so. So we're going to see.